Hey y'all, welcome back to Serendipity. Today we are making cheeseburger spring rolls. So for this, you'll need one tablespoon plus two cups of virgin olive oil, a half a medium yellow onion peeled and diced, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one pound of ground beef, or I'm doing ground turkey in this instance, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one tablespoon of yellow mustard, one tablespoon of ketchup, 10 tablespoons of cheddar cheese, and in this case I got the mild, and you're gonna need 10 egg roll wrappers, which you can find these at any grocery store, and then one large egg beaten. So what you're going to do is you're going to, in a large skillet over medium heat, you are going to heat up one tablespoon of olive oil. And you're gonna do that for 30 seconds until it kind of spreads out a little bit. Then you're going to add in the onion And then you're going to add in the garlic, the minced garlic, which is one teaspoon. And you're going to let that cook for two minutes until it becomes all, or until the onions become translucent. And you do want to kind of move these around. You don't want them burning, so. And once your onion and the garlic is done after that two minutes you're going to add in your one teaspoon of salt Ooh, it looks like a lot but then you're going to add in your one teaspoon of ground pepper And then you're going to add in your milk. I'm going to break it up. So you're going to cook this for about um, five minutes. And just make sure that you break up the meat. This smells so good, I can't wait to try it. Okay, once that you see that the meat is all cooked and there is no pink in there anymore, then what you can do is go ahead and set this off to the side. Make sure that you drain the meat um, after you're done, don't pour it down the sink. Don't pour the grease down the sink because it will clog your sink up. Maybe not today, but eventually it will clog your, your um, sink up. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add in to one tablespoon of mustard, a little bit more, and one Tablespoon ketchup. I'm going to stir this around. And I'm not a mustard person, but this is what the recipe calls for. Um, I know that at Disney, whenever we have these, um, they're very good. And I think I'm, I may put some pickles, dice up some pickles and put those in there. We'll see and then we'll just um, after you go ahead and mix this all together you're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes then you're gonna go ahead 
and get the oil <clears throat> ready. Two cups of vegetable oil. Two. And you can start heating that up. You're gonna to want to heat this up to on medium to high heat and you're going to want to heat it up for 350 degrees. Now really you want to heat it up in a, a large heavy bottomed pot. Um, if you don't have a heavy bottom pot you can use a regular pot. Just make sure um, you watch the temperature because um, a heavy bottom pot actually helps with regulating the heat better but just make sure that you watch your um, you don't burn uh, whatever you're you're cooking okay so for this I went ahead and started laying out my egg roll wrappers it says to lay one egg roll wrapper in front of you with a point facing towards you uh, spoon in two tablespoons of the beet mixture in the middle of the wrapper and sprinkle a tablespoon of cheese onto it. After talking with my husband, we decided that we were gonna go ahead and add um, in a few pickles. Uh, I went ahead and diced them up and we're gonna go ahead and add those in um, to half of them, uh, half of the mixture. So that way um, we can see how that tastes with pickles. Do the first half without. Okay. I'm sprinkle some cheese. And then it says to brush egg onto the opposite two sides of the wrapper. So I do want to say I've never done this before, <laughs> just to let y'all know. Okay. We're going to roll it up like a burrito. One, and do a few more, and then I will put some in there and test it out. more towards the front. for two minutes per side.
right y'all so just like that we are finished went ahead and did six with pickle and five without pickle my husband already tried them or the ones with pickle um, he said this tastes pretty much like the ones at Disney um, of course mine are thicker um, and they have more of a crust on it for the simple fact that my egg roll sheets were bigger than probably what they have at Disney. I could have cut them down um, if I wanted to, but that would have been a waste. So I just went ahead and made them like they are. And he said I should have probably done ground beef. That probably would have made a difference and taste more like it. Um, he said that the ones without pickle, he said to um, ketchup, <laughs> eating it with ketchup, uh, tasted really good as well. So um, I say he gives it a thumbs up. And I do want to show you all the difference. So this one was made um, without, and of course this one was made with. So you can kind of tell the difference. So Right, and I hope that y'all try making these as well, and I hope that y'all enjoy them. On that note, I would say that um, this turned out really good for being my first time. Um, I've never made these before. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, I just wanted to give it a try, and y'all were along for that as well. So please make sure that you like, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell. Bye, y'all.